Well, fear and frustration for evacuees from the tick fire waiting tonight to hear what's next and anxious to know what's <coughs> actually left. But there's also gratitude for the work that's still being done. Tonight, KCAL's Lori Perez is live at the evacuation center at College of the Canyons with how people are coping tonight. Lori? Well, this is one of two evacuation centers that remain open. And as you mentioned, as these evacuations continue, well, the emotions are really getting kind of high. And, uh, you know, people here are trying to be calm. They're trying to be patient. Tonight, the uh, Sheriff's Department put out a release saying they understand people are getting frustrated. But as long as fire conditions persist, those windy, dry conditions, safety is really the priority. Two days now. Uh, very, two very long, sad, disappointing days. As two days displaced turns into two nights, frustration. There's nothing to burn in my area. It all burned out. Worry it was real smoky. And gratitude are in equal measure at this Red Cross evacuation center. No one has been harmed in this fire, which is a blessing. Anxious evacuees watch news updates. We're going to repopulate the following areas. On the edge of their seats, listening for their streets to be called out like it's a Powerball drawing. So hopefully we can go home tonight, but I don't know yet. Heather Strauss tried to sleep in her car last night, but conditions chased her here. Literally around 2 to 3 in the morning, it felt like it was a train ripping through my car. As the Red Cross cares for people, L.A. County Animal Services is helping pets, setting up these vans outside evac centers for families like the Eagers, who for the first time in 37 years had to evacuate with their three dogs. They were being very scared, so they're very stressed out. They're very calm normally. Out of sorts, away from home, evacuees are ready to return, even as many remain uncertain what they'll return to. At times I feel optimistic and at times not so much. It seems like a long time not knowing. That That's the most challenging part. Now, last night at this evacuation center, there were about 200 plus people who stayed overnight. That number has likely dropped tonight, but uh, they're going to take a count in a couple hours to see just how many people they are still serving. Guys, back to you.